and then you can scrunch it down. Once you get it on, you could hold, you'll put more chocolate there and then push it on, but I think we're gonna use this for a bush instead. Um, and then texture underneath a little bit like that, and then I'll be showing you how to color it. Um, for the rest, then what you wanna do is just, after it sets up more, you just keep taking the chocolate I can get it out. Come on. There we go. And you'll just do little strings up and down like this and make sure that you cover all the fondant down there at the base. Okay? All right, back to you. Back I'm to just you. placing okay. bushes. Back to you. Back to me. You want me to do the bush? Or are you okay? Oh, I'm all right. I'll place the garbage can. <laughs> okay. Nope. I'm going to place. Well, actually, why don't you put the tree on? Okay, I'll get the and tree then, on. Because it's going to have to go back here, and then you can probably decide where you want to put your uh, trash can. Okay. Flying in, flying in. All right. All right, now I am going to tell you this tree weighs quite a bit. Yep. But this is the one that Susan was just showing. Yes, this is exactly what Susan showed you the under part, how she took just old fondant that she wasn't going to be using. She covered it in chocolate, she put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. She came back, she assembled the branches, and then she just drizzled the chocolate across it, let it set, came back, drizzled a little bit more. So it has that um, the vine look growing down the tree. And then this was the uh, Rice Krispies that she did the modeling chocolate on and then the fondant and then she came back and she did this absolutely gorgeous painting on it of all of the different colors in which she's going to show you now but I'm going to put this tree. Awesome. Woohoo! Okay, so the colors I'm using, these are all by the Sugar Art. I have a green leaf and then I have cut kiwi, brown, and tiger lily. So this is what I use to color all these. So I'll take a little bit of lemon extract, place it in one container. It's my kind of my dipping container. And then I'll take a little cut kiwi and put it in this one, a little bit of the green leaf over here in this container. And I start with the lighter colors and then go to the darker colors. So take a brush, take it into the extract, take some of the lighter color. And you just wanna, you kinda wanna wiggle it around a little bit to get it into those little grooves and things. Usually um, you want to wait till it completely dries and then look at it and see if there's any spots that you missed. So we just hadn't gotten to gotten that to stage. That. So you just want to go all the way over it with the light color, like I said, and then I'm going to go ahead and take some of the darker green into the, some of those areas that I didn't color, like so. Good if I could see the front, right? Yep, see the front so you know what oh, you're doing. Oh, there we go. All right, and then I'll come back and I'll just dip my brush in the brown, maybe just dip it off to the side. So I don't want too much brown. I'll usually do it in the lid, but I guess I got rid of the, li the lid. Um, and just kind of dab that on. Now, even though um, it's, you know, uh, in the forest and stuff, and um, especially like for boys' cakes, okay? Usually like jungle cakes and uh, outdoor cakes. Big they're all green most of the time. Whenever I did chosen, it's like a safari cake. They you've all used all greens on it, and you still need color even though it's for a boy, because still there's flowers and stuff out in the in the uh, woods and stuff, and you need that color. So you don't have to do pink, but you can take like orange or a little red. I actually did red, and it looked like um, maybe somebody got slaughtered. <laughs> So, um, so I decided to go Don't ahead go with, into the woods. with a, just a little, just some little hints of orange, um, and you could do yellow or what have you, just to give another color to your piece because you do need it, you do need other colors than just greens, okay? Other right. colors than just greens. I do color. Okay. Yep. We had a great little comment. We wanted to pass it by you guys. What do you think? Um, uh, Debo actually uh, recommended maybe. Uh, what do you think would be for the tent? How about a flag? Oh, that would be fantastic. Would be cool? Yes, you could do it any any flag that you want. Any flag you wanted. Yes. Kind of personalize, customize the whole tent. That would be cool. And they could put it, you know, cool. on a flagpole here, or just put it, yeah. you know, right through there. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Where was she yesterday? That's right. <laughs> Where were you? Well, especially I mean, Boy Scouts and yes. stuff in the summer sure. here. I mean, you yes. could put your troop number and you yeah. know all that good yeah. stuff or. 